everyone, Ms. Patsy here at Castile Innovation Lab. Today we will be studying the fourth grade science book, Soils, Rocks, and Landforms, Investigation 2, Landforms, Part 1, Erosion and Deposition. Question, how do weathered rock pieces move from one place to another? Let's find out. In Investigation 1, we learned about soils and weathering. We learned that rock material that may have started off as a big rock on top of a mountain may have been weathered down to sand, silt, and clay and may have ended up on a sandy beach. For today's investigation, we will be using a stream table. A stream table is a model of a piece of land. In this model, the land is composed of soil made of sand and clay. I will be running one liter of water through this stream table. I'm going to pour the water through a container marked standard water source, and it will flow down through this little hole at the bottom. Now, take out your science journal sheet titled Stream Table Observations. Condition is Standard Water Source. And write down your observations. Show where the earth materials started in the tray and where they ended up. How does this show what happens to earth materials in nature? How does flowing water affect earth materials. One thing we observed on our stream table is erosion. Erosion is the movement of weathered rock by water or wind. The markings here is where the earth materials started and where they flowed. Erosion changes the shape of the land. On our stream tables, water eroded the earth material away and formed a valley. And in some places, a canyon. A valley is defined by uh, a broad area through which a river flows. And a canyon is a narrow, steep-sided valley. Earth materials carried by moving water eventually stops moving and settles out. 
So you can see that the water carried the sand here and deposited here. That is called deposition. The eroded earth materials are called sediment. The sediment that settles in a fan shape at the mouth of a river is called a delta. Normally, we would let the water filter through a hole that's on the bottom here, but I plugged it up just to show how um, a delta looks. So the fanning out into water is called a delta. If the fan is formed on land, it is called an alluvial fan. Which earth material traveled the farthest from the original location? Another great thing about plugging up the hole on the bottom here is that you can see that the water is full of clay. That is what's making it look milky. Whereas if it flowed into another tray, you would not be able to see any clay at, at the bottom of the stream table. So the earth material that traveled the farthest from the original location is the clay that's in the water. And it would still be traveling if the water was still moving. Why do you think the clay was deposited further downstream? Remember that in investigation one, we shook vials of soil to see how the different components settled. This soil was from a river delta, this is from a mountain, this is from a desert, and this is from a forest. We observed that the components settled in order of their weight. Pebbles first, gravel second, sand third, clay next, and if humus was present, that would settle last because it is the lightest. You can see in the forest sample, the sand and gravel on the bottom, thin layer of clay on top of that, and the humus on top. So what caused the sand and clay to deposit in different places in the stream table? The larger, heavier sand settled as soon as the water flow slowed down. So the sand continues to about here. The smaller, lighter clay traveled until the flow stopped. Actually, it's still floating in the water. The focus question for our investigation is, how do weathered rock pieces move from one place to another? Answer the question in your science journals and try to use new vocabulary words such as erosion and deposition in your answer. This is our stream table 24 hours after we had run the water through it. And now that the clay particles have settled out of the water, you can see the deposition of the eroded sand and clay at the bottom of the tray. Now, if, the, if I did not plug up the hole, which is right about here, all the clay would have run through the hole into a bucket um, that I would place underneath. But I wanted to show you the deposition of the clay in our stream table. You can also observe the new landforms that were created by erosion. Here we have a canyon that was formed where the river eroded a narrow valley with steep sides. And here is a valley where the water flowed through. We didn't quite get an alluvial fan but if we did, it would look something like this. Alluvial fans are usually found at the base of mountains. And if the water were to be flowing through the fan or the fan is at a body of water, then it would be called a delta instead. So I'm just going to make our own fan. Now, when filling out our science journal sheets 
for our stream table observation. In our first section, we want to draw a picture of our stream table setup. We had a ruler going across here. and our container for the water there. So we're going to put before water and for our condition below, it's standard after water. And we're going to draw a picture of what our stream table looked like after. And we we have our canyons and our valley. And then we have our deposition. Now this is the 20 centimeter mark. So this is where the sand started. And we had the sand come all the way to the end. And the clay, the clay we pretty much had everywhere. So we could label this area sand and this area clay. So this area is where the soil has eroded away and this area is where the soil was deposited or the, where the deposition occurred. For our other science journal sheet titled Landform Vocabulary, we are going to mark the landforms that we observed on our stream table. We observed a canyon, which is this narrow, steep-sided area where the water ran through. And then this is a valley. Or a wider area where the water had flowed through. And this down here, since it's going into water, is called a delta. So let's go over our vocabulary words for this investigation. Erosion, to take away or transport earth materials from one location to another. Deposition, earth material carried by erosion and deposited elsewhere. Sediment, deposited rock material. Soil, mixture of weathered rock and organic humus. Weathering, the breakdown of rock into smaller pieces. Valley, a broad area through which a river flows. Canyon, if the river continues to erode the earth material away and the valley becomes narrow and steep-sided, we then call it a canyon. Delta, the sediment that settles in a fan shape at the mouth of a river. Alluvial fan, the sediment that settles in a fan shape on land. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed our investigation on erosion and deposition. Until next time, have a great day.